Welcome to part four of the LSPDFR 0.4 installation tutorial. This episode is going to go over how to install EUP to be compatible with 0.4. This is going to give you access to all those great uniforms within the EUP pack. So big shout out to one, the cop. He actually laid out a great tutorial here and I'll link it in the description if you want to see it. So to get started, we're going to need to download EUP, which is right here course all links are going to be in the description below so download that i downloaded the auto install also you're going to want to download eup menu this important part of eup download that and then the last thing is eup outfit settings for lspdfr 0.4 this is going to allow us to choose the outfits in the locker room so first thing first we're going to go ahead and install eup so go ahead open that file and this is just like the package package installers. You want to drag this to the desktop and open open four. Of course, GTA five. Turn edit mode on tools, package installer, find that package, which is right there. And we're going to install it into the mods folder. So wait for that to install. All right, you should get installation succeeded. Next thing we're gonna do is put in the menu. So open the EUP menu, go to the files, plugins. Okay, so this one, we can just drag and drop from here. We're in the GTA 5 directory. Um, the Rage native UI is important to get the menu to work, so just grab both of these items and drag and drop in here. So this will put a plugins folder in here and EUP menu. You need to load this EUP menu up. I'm going to have Rage plugin hook automatically load that up for us. So menus there. Last one we're going to take a look at is EUP settings. So the EUP settings are going to go into GTA 5 LSPDFR datum custom folder. And we're going to just drag and drop into there. Okay. So fingers crossed that this will work. Let's go ahead and load up LSPDFR. I'm going to go into the settings there. You want to unblock the EUP menu.dll. Just hit the gear icon and we're going to have it load EUP menu by default. Save and launch. You can see we're in our long sleeve uniform. This also puts the other characters in the EUP uniform. Let's check out the police locker and see if the other departments are in there. Yep. So you can actually go through each department and change it up with EUP. And this is great because now we can use our custom character with the EUP uniforms. Pretty cool stuff. So super easy tutorial to follow. Like I said, big shout out to one, the cop for writing that tutorial up. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos. And I'll see you guys on the next part of this tutorial series.